Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be doing a get ready with me using the Natasha Denona gold palette. This is new to my collection, so I'll be chatting about how I was able to obtain it and creating this look with you all. If you're interested, be sure to stay tuned. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and make sure you ring the bell because I post every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, but I have been doing quite a few bonus uploads lately and I don't want you to miss that content. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the look. All right, so we're gonna start it like we usually do. I'm gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown Cream Shadow Stick to kind of prime my eyes. Also, if you see a bunch of white stuff in my hair, it is uh, dry shampoo. So I'm letting that cook while we film this. I've really been enjoying this, um, let's see, Real Techniques. 300 brush it's like short and dense to blend this out just does such a good job and the brush itself is so soft this is what i used to use for like my phyto cream shadow pots so i don't know why i never thought to use it for this since they're both cream but here we are you guys here we are happens to the best of us then I'm gonna just set this down with my Tati shade, which this ring is getting smaller. I am gonna repress it. I'm gonna attempt to do a dry repress, um, but since it has like all those shimmers in it, I'm not really sure how that is gonna go. I might have to do like, you know, traditional with alcohol and stuff like that, but we'll see. The dogs are already all freaking fired up. Driving me nuts. I feel like there had to be some shadow left in this. Even though I put it in my color switch, like, I feel like there, there is some brown going on here. I don't know. <laughs> Whoops. Be like that sometimes. Put this in the dirty brush pile after we're done. I am going to use the Natasha Denona gold palette today. Um... And I'll tell you how we'll gold it here in a second. But mm -hmm. oh, I'm just going to go in um, with a light layer of the shade here. So I've been kind of looking for this. Kind of. I've been looking for this on Maricari for like months. And I wanted to get one that was in relatively good condition but they weren't charging like 180 to $200 for it. And I finally found one. Uh, this one they have listed for a hundred bucks. And I thought that was very reasonable considering the quality. It still looks almost brand new. It came in the box, everything. Uh, so I was really excited about that. I ended up using my purchase to pick it up because I did return um, my Pat McGrath palette and my Hourglass palette. So I still have that purchase left. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade here and just use that on the lid just to deepen it up a smidge before I go in with the outer color. I thought about doing um, two different eyes for this, but I actually have to go somewhere after this, so. <laughs> yeah, see how nicely these are blending out? Like, so pretty. And these tones look really nice. I've used this one other time, and they honestly just look really good with like my blue eyes. Like, stunning. Now I'm gonna go into this deep brown shade and just start to build that up in the outer corner there. <sighs> Sorry if this is like a bit jumpy. Dogs are wild and out and they're not listening. Like they wanted to be inside and now they wanna play, but they don't wanna play in the living room. They wanna play right here where mom can see them. <laughs> So I'm gonna do my best to kind of edit that out, but you know. If you've been here for a while, then you're probably kind of used to 
the dog what noises that my content just comes with. So, <laughs> yep, not having any issues with this one either. Uh, we do have <clears throat> a bit of fallout, which whatever. Um, or some kick up in the pan, which doesn't bother me either. Yeah, overall, blending out really nicely. And I'm just using a tapping motion, and then at the end, I like windshield wiper over it just a bit. I think this one needs to be just like a smidge darker. Just a smidge. There we go. That looks really nice. Um, Let's see. And now for... I think I might go in with this shade. Kind of just with my finger. Um, all over the lid. And see what it does. Really pretty. Well, it has like a little bit more of... Um, gold chef than I thought it was. It definitely looks more like brownie brown in the pan. I'm gonna get this eye with it as well. And then I think I might top um with a bit of like one of those gold shades just like to see if we can get sparkle. This is more of like a um a satin shimmer I would describe it like that. Um let's see here. Maybe let's use a little bit of this shade to top and see. It looks like um, one of our sparklier ones. Yeah, it is definitely, the formula is definitely like thinner. And I'm just going to tap. Ooh, yeah. We're getting that sparkle now, honey. Ooh, so pretty. I don't know if you guys can, I'll, of course, like zoom you in and hopefully you'll be able to see that, but. Yeah, the sparkle looks so pretty. It definitely uh, elevated the look, for sure. Oof. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna clean this up and then I'll be back. All right, so next up, we are gonna use my trusty old Fido Spectral Shine, still actively panning this. I'm filming this. Mm. A little less than a week before my project pan update. So when I'm doing my makeup, usually the last week before that, I make sure that I'm using my panning products. Sometimes, even if that's the only time you've used it, like the whole time, you can still make a smidgen of progress. I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of the Tarte Poreless Putty Primer. Um, I'm trying to do better about using this it does a really nice job i just kind of feel like i'm in a place where i'm like yeah i have pores i don't give a fuck if you see them <laughs> but this is also like expensive so i do want to try and get some use out of it before it goes off because i mean i have had it for um a while i want to say like a pretty significant amount of time um, and then I'm just going to use the Beauty Blender sample. After this sample, I only have one of them left. So I also kind of feel like it's one of those things where it's like, how could I not use it, you guys? Like, it's so, it's so close. Even though this shade is a bit deep for me, um, I would rather use it when I'm not, like, you know, going to work. So here we are. I am getting a pedicure today though, so my pedicure lady is gonna see it, but that'll be all right. I mean, she rubs my hairy legs, so. <laughs> so I don't think she will care if my freaking uh, face doesn't match the rest of my skin tone, you know? Cause look how pale my <laughs> neck's getting. Tis the season. Then I need to wash the sponge. I have been enjoying this sponge though. It was really nice. Um, I wasn't sure how it would be. I whipped it out in another get ready with me, which uh, these get ready with me's are gonna be going up 
not in order, so. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't really, what a mess I am. So, I opened this sponge and um, another get ready with me because my other one was so dirty. And I've literally had this thing for like a year and never used it. So, I pulled it out and I've actually been really pleasantly surprised with it. Um, I wish I could recall now what brand it was, but alas, I cannot. That does a really good job. All right, going in with my hourglass concealer. Still casually panning it. It's getting there. That's for Gosh Dan Shu, which is really exciting. It'll definitely be um, a November empty. That is so crazy, November. You guys aware the flip has the time gone? Can somebody tell me? <laughs> Literally, this is why I just don't think time is like real. Especially since like I feel it just, the way that it goes by is just, I don't know, crazy when we get older because it goes faster. But also I just feel like time has been really weird since like Rona. I want to shut the door because I want to shut them out. But I know like as soon as I do, then they'll all be scraping out the door crying. Like, you know, if you have dogs and you probably know what I mean. And it just. <sighs> you know, I am going to use my. Oh, wow. I'm trying to open it from the wrong side. My Tarte. Uh, bronzer. This one is the breezy one and ski chellis. I don't know, but I'm really excited. Uh, Becca got this for me in our wish list swap like a while ago, and I haven't really tried it other than the first time. And I was like, okay, the tone works for me. Um, but I haven't really had the chance to acquire my thoughts other than that. I really just wanted to test out the tone to make sure it was something that I would even like hang on to, you know? And the tone is really nice. Also, it's blending out super easy. Like as you as you can see, it's real time. So yeah, if this holds up, then uh she might be a home run. I have the mini size, which I really like. I love getting minis because you get to try it and you know, you get a lot of product in a mini typically. And as a panner, it's like, okay, I actually have a shot at finishing this in less than like a year or two years or three years, you know? So it's um, really, really nice. I love having having a mini around. Um, for blush, what do I want to do? I think I'm gonna use my Go Play blush in the shade So Natural. This is getting down to the nitty gritty, folks. I thought about like, um, I'm trying to just like work my brush in, like pulling it down. Cause I thought about, I was like, man, should I like try to repress it? But I don't really know how that would go cause of the, how the formula is. So I'm trying to just like maneuver it down uh, with my brush because it's kind of fanned out to the sides. But yeah, I think, I don't know. I'm not gonna like say, oh, I'm gonna finish it this year, but I may be good. Um, and if I don't, I definitely think this is something I could finish at like the beginning of next year, you know, like organically because yeah, I am just wearing it down, you guys. It looks so good though. It is so good. Like, I just love the color of this, it's like a really natural flush on my skin tone, I feel like, due to the shade. I just think it looks gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Something I've been doing a little bit too lately just to get a little bit more use out of my Nabla is going in with it and kind of just like right here for some extra glow. I saw Natasha Denona doing that when she was demoing her um, 
trio. And I was like, oh, that's like a good idea. So I've kind of been doing that a little bit just to get a little extra use out of it. And then of course, like I'm still, well, I still use it on the brow bone. I'm not going to right now because those aren't done. Um, but I am going to hop off, do the brows, finishing touches on the eyes, and I'll be back. Of course, the whole time I was doing finishing touches, dogs were silent. Don't you just, don't you just love that? But yeah, here is the finished look. I will zoom you guys in per usual. I really, really love how it came out. Like, this is actually the look that I did with the uh, gold palette the first time I used it. But I loved it so much, I wanted to do it again. <laughs> you know when that happens? Um, I used this dark shade to do the lower lash line as well. And yeah, I really just... I love how this look came out, you guys. Um, I'm also really digging the uh, tone of the bronzer. So I'm hopeful that it'll be, you know, long lasting and um, it'll be a home run. But of course, I'll keep you all updated and whatnot. But yeah, I really love how this look came out. For my lips, I did use my Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. It's so painfully close to empty that I can't like not use it now. And I could get enough on my lips, but it's not pumping up anymore. Um, so I might have to do some scraping, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up before you guys leave. As always, thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.